Hello and welcome to Skydio Release Notes. I'm Mark Flam, Enterprise Program Manager here at Skydio, and today I'm excited to show you what's new with the latest enterprise software for Skydio 2 and Skydio 2 Plus. Let's start with some new and enhanced features for our core Skydio Enterprise experience. When using the Skydio Enterprise controller, you can now customize the functionality of the back two buttons, L2 and R2. Set your L2 or R2 button to toggle your map view, or set it to reduce your obstacle avoidance when the button is being held down. You can also disable a button by giving it no function at all when pressed. While on the ground or in flight, check the status of your connection by selecting the connection icon on screen. Here you can view the strength of the connection between your controlling device and the drone, as well as the GPS quality and number of satellites your drone is connected to. Always make sure you have a strong GPS signal before flying over water. This update also includes improvements to keyframe and wireless performance. When playing back a keyframe sequence, Skydio will now dynamically slow down around sharp turns. This means you can increase the maximum keyframe speed to 15.6 miles per hour without reducing accuracy around corners. With this update, Skydio will now automatically and dynamically switch to the cleanest radio channel to provide the best connection possible. Simply set your channel selection to auto and Skydio will do the rest. If you have enabled GPS and telemetry data capture on your Skydio Cloud account, your post-flight data file transfer status will now be available after you land. Once you land, you'll see an indicator on screen when files are uploading. Check the status of your files by selecting View Files or by navigating to Info, Your Drone, Upload Files, File Queue. If you're interested in adding Skydio Cloud to manage your fleet, check with your account manager for more information and pricing. Now let's talk about what's new with 3D Scan. We are excited to announce 3D Tower Capture, a new specialized capture mode optimized for telecom towers and other vertical structures. Instead of setting up several pillars to create your scan boundary, this mode lets you set up a center pillar and radius to create a cylindrical scan boundary. This drastically speeds up the scan setup process and results in an efficient orbit-based capture of your tower. In any 3D capture mode, you now have the option to toggle on, optimize X and Y. During the X and Y scan passes, redundant imagery captured during previous scan passes will be skipped while maintaining full coverage of the structure. This vastly reduces the scan time while ensuring there are no gaps introduced into your dataset. The new Take Best Photo setting ensures that critical photos aren't skipped when scanning near obstructions like large buildings. Skydio will automatically reduce the distance to surface if it runs into any obstructions at any point while scanning to get the shot. This setting is toggled on by default. You can now specify the distance at which Skydio will stay away from your structure. In situations where you want to avoid flying near or through obstacles such as a lattice tower, increase your safe distance setting. Finally, we're introducing a new setting called Extend Capture Area. When enabled, your drone will capture images above, below, or outside your scan volume without flying outside of the volume boundaries. This setting is useful for indoor scanning or in situations where you need to capture the underside of a bridge. Here at Skydio, we are committed to improving so you have the best possible experience with your products. For more information about this release and instructions for updating your drone, visit our support articles at skydio.com support. Thank you and fly safe.